This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Hello, what's up, you old dogs? This is right here, and welcome to another Pokemon pack opening. Before we start, please check out GeekRetreat.com. And today, now that we've moved on with from Pokemon Sword and Shield, and now we're on Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remake, and as well, you guys probably already been starting to play now Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm sure I will be. Let's go ahead and open up another one of these: the Ice Raider Calyrex V. Also know the King of Kings. This box was awesome. Just to let you guys know, this box was awesome. We pulled amazing cards in this, and it's just to let you guys know as well. I have got the other one, which will be in four days' time, as you guys know. We can't open up one and not open the other. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are. I'm very looking forward to this because I really love these boxes. I do love the King of Kings. He is a very good Pokemon. So here we go, we have ourselves our Ice Rider right there. I'm sure the price is right there for it. Put the plastic down there. There's the giant card, as you guys know. It'll go straight into my big folder collection. So we have ourselves two Chilling Rains, a Rebel Clash, and a Darkness Ablaze. And of course, here is your lovely code. And it's gone. <laughs> So let's go ahead and sleeve up the Ice Rider of the King of Kings. There we go. We're going to save the Darkness Ablaze pack last because it's the Darkness Ablaze pack and it has, hopefully, potentially could have that beautiful VMAX Full Art Charizard. First pack though, Rebel Clash. Cue the music as always. Let's have a look. Come on. Now, a lot of people do say that that everybody says, Oh, Rebel Clash and everything. No, it's, it's not a good set. There's no valuable cards. Valuable, I don't really care about valuable. It's just that I put the value on them. It's because you guys asked me to. Because you guys want to know how much these cards are worth. I just love opening packs and getting something that I do not own. Litwick, a reverse roll coughing. And a Boss's Order Hollow Rare. That is good. Boss's Order, quite a valuable card back in the day. Don't know if it is anything now, unless in the other sets it is. <coughs> Next up, first pack of Chilling Rain. Let's have a look. Can we get an alternate artwork? Can we get a full art? Can we get that Zapdos that I'm after? Yes, my chasing card is Zapdos. Either of them. The V card. The, ultra, the ultimate full art. The alternate artwork, that's the one I want. They're the ones I'm after. It's all I wanted out of this set. Nothing else. A wheezing normal rare. And a standard reverse roll, snow runt. Final pack of Chilling Rain before we move on to the big pack of Darkness of Blues. Come on, can we get something good out of this box? One, two, three, four, let's have a look. We have a water energy. Welcoming Lantern, Carla, Braley, Hatina, Rockruff, Shuppet, Casform, Dursley, a Reverse Foil Rare Zangoose. Why are we getting Reverse Foil Rares like crazy? That's insane. And a Bayonet. Not bad. A reverse Foil Rare as always. I'll take the Reverse Foil Rares any day to be honest. Final Pack of Destiny. Darkness Ablaze. Can we pull the Charizard? It's very slim on getting him, to be honest, people, because just to let you guys know, Darkness Ablaze set has been reprinted twice because everybody's been in massive demand of it, and it came out, as you guys know, in between the vi in between the breakout of the um, of the Hawful virus, as you all guys know. So people were just buying this like crazy and as you guys know scalpers were taking this like serious. So these packs are very valuable and expensive. Gothita and here we got ourselves a pin chewing chin. And to be honest, it's a it's a it's a hollow rare bleed card. Now I've only learned this if you guys want to know. Some hollow rare cards that could be worth maybe 20 pounds. I mean that could be worth one pound or two pound but there are big collectors now who are after pokemon hollow rare cards that have hollow rare bleeds on it so as you can see the shine coming from the actual card that's a hollow rare bleed so this card could be worth around about 
one pound to two pound, it can boost itself up to four pound to six pound right there and then. So these are actually our collectible now. So if you guys do find yourself some hollow rare bleed cards, make sure you keep them safe because they actually are worth more money. Anyhow, two out of four packs, very good indeed. There's nothing wrong with it. No OMG or OMFG because they're not big hitters, but I'll still take it either way. My luck hasn't ran out. Here's a whole res of the day. Boss's Order is one of my favourites, of course, but also the Ice Rider of the King of Kings. And that is all we got time for today, people. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't joined the People Army. Really, people, please do. Literally, over 90% of you have not subscribed but still watch my channel. What are you lot doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button. It's flipping free. Without further ado, though, please check out Geek Retreat. They are awesome as always. And without further ado, the people on this loop go see you guys subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Okay. Okay. My luck hasn't run out. It's still the same. It's smooth like the ocean. Let's just hope we do not hit a tidal wave. Woo! I like getting these, these are nice. I do have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! 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 oh my god! We got him! We got him! Oh my god! No! Yeah!